Hi folks, thanks for tuning into Stacker Chats. Stacks is smart contracts for Bitcoin. And I'm Gina Abrams, and I'm joined by Maneep Ali, Stacks founder, with your regular updates. So Maneep, excited to catch up after a couple of weeks. There's been a lot of discussion about, you know, what are Bitcoin layers? And I'd love to hear um, how you define them. Yeah, so I think, I think sometimes the strict technical definition and people's perceptions uh, could also be different. Like from a strict technical definition, Lightning is a blockchain agnostic technology. But in people's perception, a lot of Bitcoiners would be that no, Lightning is Bitcoin. Like Lightning, in their mind, Lightning is like a core part of Bitcoin or something. But the, the truth is, Lightning is actually blockchain agnostic. You can you can run it on on, on pretty much any chain. And in fact, I think uh, Lightning transactions from one chain to another could actually make make a lot of sense. And it's a very interesting new area for people to explore. Uh, so coming back to Bitcoin layers, I think if you want to define it uh, more precisely, uh, you can get into uh, you know, what type of connection exists between the, the layer and the Bitcoin main chain. Like, for example, uh, Lightning actually settles on Bitcoin, right? So Lightning, uh, if you're doing a bunch of Lightning transactions, all of those transactions are going to settle on the Bitcoin, Bitcoin main chain, which is a very strong property because the Lightning, even when, um, you know, your money is kind of like in Lightning channels, even from a security perspective, uh, it, it is as secure as having a uh, transaction, Bitcoin transaction that you have signed, but you haven't broadcasted because you could close the channel at any point that, that you want. So your funds are not at risk. So it's so I would say Lightning is a very clear uh, example where both uh, from a settlement perspective, but also from a security perspective, it make, makes a ton of sense. And then you can look at other networks, like for example, uh, Liquid is in, in, in many ways, Liquid is a separate network, right? It's, it, it, is, it doesn't settle on Bitcoin. It doesn't read anything from Bitcoin. Uh, but there is a bridge between the Bitcoin main chain and, and Liquid. And that bridge is pretty centralized, right? Like it's, 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 uh, it's either just Blockstream or maybe a, a couple of other parties. Uh, it used to be, I think, that Blockstream only maintained the wallet, but it might be now that there are their federation members involved there as well. And they're issuing a Bitcoin derivative asset on the federation, right? But a lot of people would either call Liquid a sidechain or a layer, and that's like generally acceptable. And I agree with it, I, I, because I, I think the definition is very, very broad. If Bitcoin, if some sort of a Bitcoin derived asset is being issued on another network, uh, like you could, you could call that network a Bitcoin layer. Uh, I would call, any chain that is merged money with Bitcoin, a Bitcoin layer as well, right? So back in the day, Namecoin did that. It was the first one. Uh, RSK does that. So RSK in my mind is clearly a Bitcoin layer. It's merged mine with Bitcoin. Again, there is a, a Bitcoin derived asset that gets issued as well. And in terms of stacks, I think there are actually multiple connections uh, to Bitcoin. Uh, the stacks transactions are settling on Bitcoin. The consensus actually runs on the Bitcoin side. So all of the consensus is running literally on Bitcoin. Uh, again, all of the smart contracts on the stack side, they can read Bitcoin information, which is a unique property. Bitcoin doesn't have, uh, have that property. RSK doesn't have that property. And I would say, finally, uh, the thing that you could issue Bitcoin derived assets on stacks, this is the work that is uh, going on uh, in terms of non-custodial BTC. So you would have, uh, and we want to make it as trustless as possible. So you can lock your BTC on the main chain. You could issue a Bitcoin derived asset in a trustless manner uh, on the on the stacks layer as well. So I think those are some of the things that really make like stacks a Bitcoin layer. Uh, and and my my thing is that I think it it should be a very 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 broad. Uh,